comes to long distance running. But if I have to, I will to get faster. In the last like, half of that workout, I just kept repeating myself. Mama's just changing, getting Henry ready for the day. Are you gonna run to the yeah. Here we go, everybody. Last hard, hard workout before the Naples Half Marathon in, what is it, 12 days? I never know because you're always watching this the next day, but about 12 days to go in the training block. Amazing, right? So getting a little coffee, getting, uh, already ate my bobo, but a little extra fuel today. Uh, some, just some trail mix, basically. Craisins, nuts, all that good stuff. And onward and upward, right, Michael? Do we, oh, thank, thank you. you. And almonds in my coffee, perfect. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So, we're going onward and upward here. Here comes Henry. Oh, yeah. Come Hi, on. buddy. <sighs> everyone just got a uh, I don't know I guess I would say an exciting email is that don't be afraid to be a little I don't want to say aggressive but persistent in seeking out races that you want to do in 2021 that maybe have a and maybe sorry for all the race directors out there that don't want to hear this but uh, that maybe are closed or maybe they uh, aren't accepting any entries or maybe you have a qualifying time that this race director is unaware of for a race that you want to run in 2021 all right persistence I've been <laughs> it's been I think six weeks trying to track down the right people to ask the question how do I get into Zagama over in Spain uh, a marathon mountain race in uh, early June 2021 I was on Instagram, I was on Twitter, I was on email, I was all over the place, about to get really bright, sorry about that. I was all over the place and if finally this morning, it looks like I have the definitive answer that I can register as an elite athlete at the Zagama race. Um, anyway, but it was six weeks, I'm not, I think it was early December or maybe even late November where I started the process of like just trying to track down how do you get into the race? How, how, because they closed it for 2021 entrance because of uh, the coronavirus in 2020, they basically bumped everybody to 2021. So be persistent, don't give up, keep fighting out there, just like we're gonna attempt, attempt to do at the track. Wrapping up the warm-up, three-mile warm-up. I don't even know. Probably about 8.30 a mile is my guess. I'll put it on the screen for you right now. And then I'm uh, going to do my strides, uh, form drills, uh, a little more stretching, drink a little more water. It is, I'm not going to say it feels like summer, but it almost feels like summer out here. It's incredible. Uh, then after the uh, rest of the stretching, we're going to start the workout. Start with four by 200 meters. Uh, nothing crazy fast, just getting that turnover going, reminding the legs that it's time to go fast. Then three by one mile, okay, using the first mile again, not blazing out of the out of the blocks as fast as possible, just reminding the legs of what I need to do on race day in Florida, okay? And then after the first mile, then we'll start as I 
uh, learned in college will start to tighten the screws down slowly but surely making it harder and harder and harder and not, that's not the whole workout I'll get you the rest of the workout once we're all done all right let's finish lacing up and then rock and roll oh yeah of course uh, race day shoes it's always smart whether you're doing mountain running cross country running track running to do your some of your workouts not all of them but some of your workouts in the shoes that you're going to be racing in all right so i will be racing in some nike next percents down in florida
Enjoy the process. Enjoy the process, everybody. Ah, I don't love the track. You know that. You definitely know that. Like, it's not my uh, first choice when it comes to long distance running. But if I have to, I will to get faster. And the last like, half of that workout, I just kept repeating to myself, enjoy the process. Cause uh, we got two legs, we got lungs in our, in, we got air in our lungs, and we can get out there and uh, chase down dreams. So, but I gotta tell you, it hurts. It hurts everyone. Oh my goodness. Man, agua. There's the wind. We nailed it as far as timing goes. And we're back. Cheers, everybody. Oh, man. So I was going to go to the studio to break down the workout, but I'm frankly a little too tired. So we're just going to do it here in the room. And all right, you ready for this? So breaking down the splits. And first of all, did you let me know? Uh, I know that added, you know, what, four plus minutes to the vlog, but doing the entire mile for all of you, for the sake of just letting you in a lot. I've never done that before, just so you know, in a vlog where, and I hopefully you were able to jump ahead to the right time code in case you didn't want to watch the entire mile. But anyway, just try to do something different. And then that little uh, time stamp down in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, anyway, I'll be curious to read your comments down below. Here we go. So it was four by two, three mile warm up, four by 200 meters on the track just to get the legs turning over a little bit. I think I was hitting 37, 38 for those 200 meter, uh, four by 200, and then three by mile, four by 1K, five by 400. Okay, so kind of that cut down that I talked about uh, in the 13 run types vlog up right hand corner. So again, four by 200 meters, three by one mile, uh, four by 1K, and then uh, five by 400 meters. And as I, I, did I actually, I don't think I said this at the track. Maybe I did. The 400s were probably the hardest part. Like, man, you just got to dig and uh, you just got to dig in those 400 meters. So here's the times on your, I'll try and put them on the screen if I have time, but the bottom line, here we go, here we go. Um, 445, 442, 445 for the mile repeats. Uh oh, battery's flashing. Okay, 445, 442, 445 for the mile and then for the Ks and I'm back sorry child coming in all right so 445 442 445 uh then uh three sorry 259 301 302 301 for the 4k sorry I'm closing my eyes but I gotta think about it and then for the 400 meter repeats I did five of them between uh, 70 seconds and 72 seconds, just in that range. So seven, so that was good, just hitting the splits. And I gotta say, very, very excited about going 445, 442 in those mile repeats. I was hoping for at least 452, okay? So the fact that I was able to go about 10 seconds faster for one of them, very, I'm just gonna say encouraging for Florida. And just keep in mind, it's always a little bit of a challenge with respect to doing the conversion up here at altitude and then translating that to a sea level race. Like at the end of the day, you just got to show up on the starting line and, and let it rip. All right. So feeling good about the track workout again. Thanks for co uh, coming back, tuning in and just, uh, you know, being interested in this whole process. It's going to be crazy. I cannot wait to race, but I cannot wait to do the vlog after the race, breaking down the entire training block just to see if it worked or not. All right, question of the day. When was the last time that you surprised yourself a little bit in any run, whether it's a long run, a track workout, uh, a vertical run, an easy run, it could be any run that you just surprised yourself a little bit in a good, good way. All right, today, I gotta say, I'm, I'm a little surprised that I was in the, you know, 442 instead of uh, let's say 450 to 455. So good news onward and upward. All right, we will toss it to uh, last week's track workout. Last week's uh, track workout, which is more of a speed workout, okay? Did a big old ladder last week. All right, everyone, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.